listening to the engine running down the road Innocent as children, never growing old Thinking of a life that you'll never have Coming up short, chasing at the wind Ending up back at the same place that you've been Hurt is just another part of your day there is time to leave There is time to stay There are other ways To be okay Hiding from the rain Drowning at the bar Handful of matches and a gasoline I ain't afraid of dying, at least for tonight Praying for the sun to hurry up and rise Hoping for the healing hands of the light Bring me back to life and help me see Cause there is time to leave There is time to stay There are other ways To be okay I'm a lot like you I want a better understanding Why we do the things we do There is time to leave There is time to stay There are other ways to be okay The reason I picked up a guitar is because I broke my leg when I was 10. Uh, after baseball practice, my friend Tyler and I were riding bicycles and crashed and broke my leg. And it was on April Fool's Day, too. That's not funny. It's, it wasn't. And he ran home to call my mom to say, hey, Jordan's broke his leg. And she didn't believe him. Oh, she said, I've been waiting on this crap all day, Tyler. You know, I was sitting around for a few months and my grandpa's guitar was there and I started picking it because I was bored and uh, some of the stuff sounded okay and sounded good so my mom was like hey do you want to take some lessons and kind of see what happens and the rest is uh, history so they say they built a highway went through his backyard He worked in so hard I always drive by there On my way back home I should stop in more often Cause I'm sure he feels alone This was all in Columbia and Campbellsville, Kentucky. And, uh, and then uh, through that, you know, met some people in Bowling Green playing music, you know, had a good bond with them just because we played music. And, uh, you know, moved to Bowling Green to, uh, it was the big city for me. So 
to, you know, focus, further focus on playing music and see where it would take me. I was approached by Zach to join the group Mona, and uh, that took me to Nashville. Uh, and I lived down there for a few years, but it also took me all over the world. Um, you know, Australia, Japan, the UK, Europe, all over the place. Uh, all because I broke my leg and I picked up a guitar. You know, it's, it's crazy. Worth more than a ruby Now forever she lays His wife's name was Hazel she would always win When his cards are off the table And he'll be with her again Life was happening, and it was happening fast, and, you know, I didn't want to miss things, um, but, you know, some of the things that I missed out back home uh, were really, you know, kind of hard and, and difficult. I missed a lot of stuff here that I wish that I didn't. Um, I was on tour when my stepmom passed away, and I didn't get, you know, didn't get to, to make the funeral. Um, that was really hard for me. Um, Do you remember that phone call? I do remember the phone call. Um, excuse me. Man, it was tough. I had one show left on the tour. We were in San Diego and uh, got the call. Show was the next day. Um, and then after the show, got a ticket immediately and flew home. You know, we were going to drive back, um, but, you know, obviously I didn't want to wait around for that. Um, so I missed the funeral and, uh, you know, went and paid my respects with my father. And there was a lot of, uh, a lot of shame that I felt and regret. Um, Why so? Just because I missed it. I wasn't there for it. And uh, I know she's proud. She would have wanted you to finish that tour. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, it took me, and I'm still dealing with it at times, but it took me a long time to confront that and uh, I've been able to write about it and sing about it, which has helped uh, tremendously. And um, I'll continue to do that no matter what happens with any part of my life. I'm going to try to put it to paper and try to put, put it out sonically uh, in some way, for sure. Um, and, I, and I'm learning 
new ways to do that every day, which is one of the many things that I love about music and, and having just a little bit of an understanding of what music is and, and, and how powerful, powerful it can be. Um, it, and, it's, and it's always gonna be different every single time that I try to do it. Some people look to the ground just to talk to the sky. Their whole world could be falling down with no questions why. But I never cared much for what the preacher man preached. Now it feels like hell on earth and heaven's out of reach. Rhonda. You always kept the faith. we 
when we Didn't have a clue And who would have thought Years later I'd be singing this to you Freezing cold Lights dancing in the sky I traveled the world Just to look you in the eye Tell us about your love. Uh, my love is a uh, uh, She's my love. She's everything. She has been so supportive uh, in, you know, just everything that I do, uh, writing music or not writing music or, you know, whatever I want to do. She's been so supportive and has helped me grow as a person um, immensely in the last, you know, two years that we've been married and then, you know, we've known each other since we were teenagers. We met when we were young at a at a tattoo shop uh, where you know we were both too young to even get tattooed, um, but we you know had mutual friends there and we <clears throat> excuse me we stayed in touch throughout the years. You know life happened. I was touring and playing music. Uh, she had an opportunity to to live in Alaska for a few years, um, so she did that and uh, we stayed in touch here and there and. The years went by and uh, eventually we said, hey, let's give this a shot. And we did. And I mean, two months later, I knew, all right, I'm going to spend my life with this person. My hands are trembling like a leaf up on a limb. I tell you how much I love you. If I knew just where to begin And forever's a long time But not long enough, I'm told We'd be worth a fortune If we measured love and It is different when I'm trying to put it to some music or I'm trying to put music to those words. I want the music to feel like the words belong with it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just try to be honest when I'm writing or telling a story that hadn't necessarily happened to me, mm -hmm. um, which is hard to do. I struggle with that. I, I want to be better at that. I want to be better at creating a narrative that isn't so personal, uh, but still has something that someone can gravitate towards and, and hold on to. Yeah, for sure. Got a feeling inside me it Tells me I was right To stop what I was doing Make you my wife. But you ask me how I know what is best for me. Oh, baby, that's easy when I see you. I
third one. Third time's the charm. That's right. <laughs> Okay. I'll do what you gotta do. Doing it. We're just, we're just here to do it. Got the clap, that's all that matters. Let's not say that yeah. too often. <laughs> I lived in Nashville for a few years, but my wallet said move back to Bowling Green. Next week on Marquee Backstage, we're sharing the unbridled spirit of singer-songwriter Hannah Bethel. I'm getting so tired.